And who the hell saw the scales? Who the hell saw it that close that they can't see it with the human eye? I'm not. Yeah, good point. The hell? Fake! (laughs) (laughs) Basement. What's up, you beautiful bastards? Welcome to the Basement Hangout. Coming to you from somewhere in American suburbia. My name is Chad, and with me as always is Bob. And what is up is the James Webb saw a fucking civilization on another planet, dude. Did it actually see another civilization? We're not sure yet, but if it did, they're going to be coming here. Is I mean, did we hear that it saw? What do you mean we're not sure yet? It did or it didn't? It's going to get closer and like zoom in, I think. There have been a couple uh, like astrophysicists or whatever that came out recently and they were asked about their predictions for 2024 and they said, "We're we're going to detect life. In the exoplanets, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. And I'm just delighted to say I've got Nicola Coughlin and Maggie Adderin Pocock, who was here last year with predictions, and uh, predictions were there were going to be meteorites. Meteor showers, yeah. Meteor showers, and they were. Yeah, they're, that's a pretty reliable prediction. They come every year. So. Yes, yeah, exactly. I think I want to make a new prediction. Yes, what will it be? I think we're going to discover alien life next year. That's a big prediction. The conspiracy theory is they already know. Yeah, I think they already know. And that's why they're saying, oh, my prediction is we're going to. I'm wondering when they're like, I think it's going to take five years for people to go back and forth. Yeah. But we're going to have like alien real like couples <laughs> and shit. So hybrids won't even be necessary then. Well, it, uh, I'm wondering. Just happen naturally. But what if they're just humans? That would be fucked up too. But their civilization advanced differently than ours. Well, That's possible. Like they don't use cars. And what if they're assholes like all the other humans? They probably are. That's the thing. (laughs) That would be no good. So, Bob, the news of the day apparently is this jellyfish video that our our friend Jeremy Corbell, I say he's our friend, but we don't know him. You don't know him? He he just texted me, dude. What did he say? He said, fuck you. (laughs) Then he's not your friend. (laughs) Right. I know. know. Or he said, have a good episode. It's in like a joking thing. (laughs) We're interviewing John Stewart, not the fake John Stewart from Comedy Central and stuff. The real John Stewart <laughs> uh, in about 40 minutes from now. But we figured we'd do an episode on this news of the day regarding this very odd jellyfish video. It's creepy looking for sure. It is, right? Shall we watch it and comment? Yeah, I'd like to see it again. All right, let's do it. So I'm wondering, are those things hanging down tentacles? Like That's what it looks like, right? That's why it's called the jellyfish video. Yeah, but more like they're thicker than <clears> jellyfish <throat> tentacles. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now we're going to watch the version of the video with Jeremy Corbell commenting. Has he said how he got this video, why people give it to him? Because he made it. No, I have no fucking <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> he flew a balloon over this base in Iraq. <laughs> All right, let's take a look, shall we? What's that noise in the background? It was filmed on a weapons platform. (laughs) When it's changing color, they put noise. (laughs) You see that there's a dog there. See the animals are black. I'm assuming this is black hot. You see the object just went to white and you'll see it going from white to black, white to black. And that's basically showing the heat differentials. It's going like, Hot and cold, hot and cold. So it's changing its temperatures. Yeah, on purpose, or is it running out of, like, fuel? Uh, let's ask it. <laughs> Dear Jellyfish UFO. <laughs> Do you, like, send a letter to the North Pole? <laughs> so I heard people saying that um, when, it's, when it's white, it's not detectable to the human eye. Or maybe it's never detectable to the human eye because the only thing that can see this are infrared cameras. So people on the ground are completely oblivious to this thing. But this is our video from our military in Uh, Iraq? Apparently, yeah. So they saw this thing on thermal and followed it. I don't know. Let's hear what Jeremy Corbell has to say. The problem was the optics platform was jammed. These individuals who target with these platforms, they can shoot out an Al-Qaeda tire at 27 miles away, but not being able to lock it was one of the first signs that something's weird. I was 
able to find direct eyewitnesses and corroborate that this event did happen. When individuals would target in on it with the optics, the way it was described, each of these hanging things, they were stiff, like they weren't moving. They had a geometric form, like scales. What was said to be scales, like an armor. There were also people with night vision who were out and they were tasked to, to go look for it. Couldn't. Okay, so a couple interesting things there. Uh, the optics, which usually can lock on a target and automatically follow it once you lock, could not lock on it. So mm. it was almost as if it didn't exist to the optics. But infrared has it. But people looking at the infrared could see it in the infrared, but the optics, the electronics could not target and follow it. And then secondly, you know, because you want to say it's some kind of balloon or weird thing, but he's saying that those tentacle-like things are just not moving, which if it was a balloon floating in the wind, you would think those things would be moving. Like waving? Yeah. And who the hell saw the scales? Who the hell saw it that close that they can't see it with the human eye? I'm not. Yeah, good point. The hell? Fake! <laughs> <laughs> In the night vision, only in the thermal spectrum could it be seen. But anything that looks like that appears to have a payload, that's a big deal. It could be dangerous, so these are high priority. But what happened is there were a couple other nations involved and the feeds were shut, just shut. Will it I be more popular if I get a bunch of neck tattoos? Yeah, you should. You can't even tell what they are. And really. arm tattoos? I think that's Sasquatch on his left arm. Is it? No. <laughs> and I think all those papers have no nothing printed on them. They're just white papers. <laughs> like, <laughs> and look, he's got sti we have stickers like that. Oh yeah, see that is our sticker. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> Immediately. So that put me on high alert too. Why is it completely being shut down? But that's not all it did. I like the B roll. I like the picture it of the water. Goes out over water. a body of water. I'm told. It stops on a dime, descends into the water, stiff into the water. Okay, so he's told. Right. But we don't see. Yeah, they don't show that that I'm aware of. And for 17 minutes, nothing. And boom, this thing comes up out of the water and shoots off at 45 degrees, just like that. It looks very much like what I've heard that has made incursions into nuclear facilities because I know for sure, fact of the matter, there is footage from inside a nuclear facility. And I'll just say it, Pantex, that's the one, man. Something that appears identical to this moves between these nuclear silos and shot off again at a 45 degree angle. What it is, I don't know, but now, when it goes over a body of water, I do have some footage of that. Now oh, there we go, it goes over the body of water. This is when that same object, a jellyfish UFO, goes out over this, this like you can kind of get an idea by that distance now, how far these optic systems can reach. When it gets to that point where it's over the water, every source that I have talked with who is aware of this footage, that footage exists. You've got a UFO or UAP, descends into the water stiff, comes back up, and then shoots off 45 degrees. Now, this was taken by an intelligence agency and, and buried. So I don't know, man, these are the cases that spark me. I don't know what this is. I just know when I get military filmed UAP footage designated where people risk getting that to me, I take it as serious as it sounds and I try to get to the bottom of it. And it's hard, you know, but I, I do have a number of direct eyewitnesses now. It almost is like an animal that's like being held up. It is super weird. Uh, I don't know what to prescribe to that. Because you, you, you want it to look like, uh, you have like a disc or? I don't know. I, I just, what is that shit, I don't dude? fucking know either. I mean, it kind of goes back to what we've heard from, you know, the likes of, um, shit, the name escapes me, John Keel. Right. I told you how like they take different forms over years. Like they used to be airships back in like 1920s, like flying boats. Then they turned into like cigar shape. But that doesn't even look like a jellyfish. Right. Then they, then they turned into 
uh, flying saucers. Now we're talking about Tic Tacs. Now we have whatever the hell that shit is, a jellyfish UFO. What the hell, man? I don't think it's a jellyfish, dude. I think it's like an animal with its like legs hanging. Well, we know it's not a jellyfish. Why the hell are we calling we? it that then? Let's rename it. Well, we're calling it a jellyfish UFO because it's shaped kind of like a jellyfish where it's got like these tentacle things hanging. But they look like thicker, like legs. Like freaking arms and legs of a... Yeah. Like a small mule. So somebody mentioned on Reddit, uh, imagine these things are floating around and you can't see them. And they're around you. <laughs> And for all you know, those tentacle things are what grab you up and what? Eat you. <laughs> yeah, then do what with you? Like take you away? Make alien baby, obviously. Or like when I was pushed down the steps after like a few drinks, it's like a tentacle fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. I think those things are uh, insemination devices, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we get infrared? Is that expensive? Not night vision, but infrared goggles. It ain't cheap. All right, buy them. Now. Shall, we, shall we watch the video without uh, the wonderful commentary of Jeremy Corbell? Yes. U.S. Joint Operations Base Iraq. A lot of shit happens in Iraq. That orb uh, video happened in Iraq, too. Remember that one? The Sorta. one that looked like a floating shopping bag? No, it looked like a literally an orb, like a metallic orb. Oh, it orb. was kind of going like through the... No, it was just going straight. I don't remember. Man, you got a bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like there's like joints on those things hanging down. So again, um, notice, I, I think what we're looking at is the recording of a screen. Right? This isn't the video exported. So someone's recording This is a- somebody recording the screen that they're looking at. I think that's why it's at an angle. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, that's of. a good point. That's why it's like MH370, man. Right. It's all connected. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless Corbell did this for effect, which I hope he didn't do, because that would be kind of dumb, right? Who am I to judge? I mean, he put his logo on it. Yeah, he did do that. I shouldn't talk because we'll have our logo on this video. <laughs> yeah, right over his. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird it's changing uh, temperature, supposedly. And actually, that background noise, is that from the room where the person's recording this with their phone on a screen? Like the AC? Yeah, or is that like whatever craft or- is I wouldn't imagine the craft would be recording audio, so it probably is the room where they're watching this. So what do you think the 73 meters at the bottom means? 73 meters? But like to the target or? I think distance. Or the zoom level? It's not changing actually. Well, they haven't changed the zoom, so I wonder if that's the zoom level. Like from here, it almost looks like a floating human because you can only see like two legs. Yeah, that's true. 74 meters. Yeah, I think it's to the target or to the fucking... The zoom level. Well, it just went to 73, so I don't know. Now, note the controls or the... uh, Heads up display says IR, so infrared. What does SPA mean? Make something up immediately. Single parents, <laughs> asexual. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue, dude. How are you going to be a single parent if you're asexual? At some point, you had to I know, knock but one now, out with someone. Now it's asexual, this alien being. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when it's going over object, it goes white or clear. There's two people there. Did you see that? Did you see the two people? No. Hitch, you got to point it out. Man, what's wrong with you? I'm zoomed in on the freaking non-jellyfish looking UFO. Okay, watch. Uh, There's going to be two people walking in the background. And right there, see? Oh, yeah. They're terrorists. (laughs) (laughs) And that's a terrorist device? 
or what? It actually looked like it was on the base, probably U.S. military. So what is this thing, man? So when they zoom in, you can see four things hanging down, and when it looks like a goddamn like wolf, but like being held like this with its limbs down. Yeah, I could see that. I guess it doesn't look like a fucking jellyfish. Tell you that right now. I mean, it looks like a jellyfish as much as anything else. Jellyfish doesn't have huge tentacles like <laughs> thick in some places and thin in others. Yeah, that's true. Well, they're just calling it jellyfish because it's got the mass and then it's got things hanging down. Just Why like not a, a squid? Well, same difference. No, neither of those look like that. Yeah. Exactly. What do you want to call it? The wolf UAP? Like, <laughs> a sp- yeah, suspended. Because it looks like it has ears. It has to be catchy, dude. It can't be like suspended anomalous vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think it's a vehicle. I think it's a damn being, man. Yeah, you think so? That'd be super weird. What if that's what the aliens really are? I mean, I think they can be. And they created the grays just so that they can be more Human-like? interactive with us. You know what I mean? Or like you said, they could look whatever the hell they want. If that thing showed up in your bedroom at night, woke you up and was like, nye, nye. <laughs> why is it got to go? <laughs> what else would it do? What if, you know, what if it was like a hot model? <laughs> like, you know, they could do, be whatever the hell they want. They don't know what we want. Well, they do say that that's happened actually. What an alien, like naked woman. There's stories of where like, um, during abductions, that, uh, and you know, and we'll go over this when we do our David Jacobs episode, which is in the works. Very complicated. Uh, cause he had sex with one. <laughs> no, he just interviewed and did regression therapy on all the people who did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that they would be, so the alien supposedly could look in your eyes and then you would like do whatever. And you'd be sort of out of it. So hypnotize you. Yeah, more or less. Cause you to do whatever the hell they wanted. And they would basically find themselves having sex with some say another human. And we'll go over this when we do the David Jacobs thing because it's super weird. But um, like the aliens would literally cause two humans, a male and a female abductees, to have sex. With each other? With each other. And then when the male ejaculates oh shit where's my sound effect i have to have the sound effects dude so when the the male ejaculates he has like <laughs> no the aliens like pull him out and and catch it in like a thing so that they have the <laughs> sperm <laughs> and then supposedly they would bring a woman to orgasm sometimes just by doing the stare thing and for some reason it was like when the woman orgasmed it was better at that point to extract the egg almost as if the body does this thing that like makes the egg more available during an orgasm. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. It does. But you know, physiology would say that's not true. Cause like, for example, what about pain level, more lubrication? I would imagine they had that covered, but I don't know. But imagine like, you know, you, you, if you've ever had uh, sex with your wife and she's not into it, that don't mean she's not going to get pregnant. So I don't know about all that. But I've, I saw a guy on, he was on, uh, not Jerry Springer. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Okay. So when they caused the two humans to have sex with each other, and then right as the male is about to do his thing, they, they f- cause them to pull out, and then they catch the ejaculate <laughs> <laughs> in like an ejaculate bag. <laughs> yeah. So, but I saw a guy on Maury, Maury Povich. And he was like, I know that's not my, none of these babies are mine. I know what baby sex feels like. That wasn't baby sex. And he, it was, I trust that guy hundred percent. I think two or three different women, he claimed this. And then every single one came, not the father, not the father, not the father. <laughs> I definitely trust that guy. Yes. And <clears throat> let's see where are I, you know, I haven't used these sound effects in a big way in a long time. So I'm having trouble finding some of them and there's no search function here. What do you make buttons? Yeah, there's buttons here, dude. Did you the, idiot. Do these do anything anymore? <laughs> no. The fuck it lights up. Those have been removed. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> 
Uh, no, I was looking for, um, what's that dude? He goes, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> Sling Blade. Sling Blade, yeah. It's here somewhere, but screw it. Anyway, so what do you think, man? I mean, it's definitely weird. It's strange it's only be seen in infrared and it's changing temperatures. Then it went to the water to like recharge and shut up. It adds to my suspicion that aliens are in the ocean. Yeah, it does. There's a lot of stories of them going into the water. Like, why did it turn black there? It's anyway, trying to, like, cloak itself. What could it be? Like, something Ugh. just, you know, prosaic, terrestrial, a floating bag, Ugh. a balloon. Um, shadow. A shadow, but a shadow wouldn't be midair, would it? I don't fucking know, dude. And it would change, you know, depending on the background that it's shadowing on. I mean, that ain't a floating bag. You know who we need to get is Mick West. Mick West is the famous debunker. I would love to hear what he says this could be. He seems to be able to pull out all that stuff. You should search. He probably already debunked it. That's true. Let's check that out while this is playing. I'm sure he's fast on the trigger. But from far away, it looks almost like a space suit with a backpack on. But when they zoom in with the four non-jellyfish tentacles. And it's not moving. None of the, like nothing is moving. It's just floating. All right. So he has nothing on the jellyfish UFO yet, but he does have something on the MH370. All right. What did you say about that? Shall we watch it? Yes. All right. I was unable to debunk them because I didn't try. They were old, low-resolution, anonymous videos released on anonymous <laughs> sites. They also looked ridiculous. I thought analyzing them would be a waste of time, just a distraction flooding the zone, <laughs> much like the Las Vegas alien nonsense. Dang. <laughs> but the videos were still eventually debunked in multiple ways, mostly on Reddit. There was also an extensive discussion thread on Metabunk, but not everyone Reddit. reads Reddit or Metabunk. People are still asking me to look into them. So this video is just a quick summary of the ways in which we know the videos are fake. First, this portal effect was found this video is only by two minutes long. IC slide <laughs> 7698 to be made using modified stock footage from the 1990s. It's impossible for all these curves along the edges to match by accident. And in comparisons between other frames, we see the internal details match. We know the stock footage is that old because it was used in a 1995 game called Killing Time for a portal effect. Oh, the stock footage is also used in the fake satellite video as found mm. by Redditor Happy Grammy, where an overexposed version of this frame matches the portal effect. <laughs> that should be enough. But then we also oh, yeah. have the stabilization issue, where if we stabilize the plane, then the contrails jump around. I've looked at thousands of videos of contrails, and they just don't do this. This must be a tracking and compositing error, and also shows that the video is fake. Can I just stop it there and mention that he says he's watched thousands of videos of contrails? Yeah, right, because they're poisoning our skies. Man. Holy shit. <laughs> How much time does there it take to watch of thousands issues, of contrails? Like supposed stereo thousands version of being the same image left <laughs> and right, just with a manual distortion. There are issues with the frame rate. The drone footage seems to be using a 3D model. The satellite footage is static when we'd expect motion from parallax with the clouds and several other things. But really, the fact that both videos use stock footage should be all you need to demonstrate that these videos are what they appear to be, silly fakes, a distraction upon which I shall waste no more time. Hmm. <laughs> and the guy, the MA, what's the MH370 guy's name? Uh, Ashton Forbes. So he, he was like, your ass, your ass hole looks just like mine, but they're not the same. <laughs> yeah. No, he said, just cause your butthole looks like my butthole doesn't mean it's the same butthole. <laughs> right. So yeah, we should get Mick West on here. He's just going to debunk everything though. That's okay. Which is no fun. You want to hear both sides though. That's true. I do. And I think that debunking can be fun sometimes. Maybe. It's funny. He's like, I'm not going to spend any more time on this. Yeah. This is a waste of my time and yours. So what is he debunking like right now? You think the jellyfish video? Uh, probably. I just closed it, unfortunately. 
Let me see if I can get it back. Like how many hours is he spending to debunk? Is he like 20 minutes or? Well, I mean, he's getting, he's getting, getting paid decently because he's got a good YouTube channel, you know? His voice is soft. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mick West. Bring up his YouTube channel again. So his latest videos are how to solve Starlink UFOs with SITREC. Don't know what that means. UAP investigation with public data. Debunking Maui directed energy weapons destroying cars. Mm, I would like to see that. That's uh, how long is These that These three guys are very puzzled by a burnt out car that's, that's on the two edge minutes of a grass well. fire. Part of the go. terrible wildfires in Maui. How, they ask, can a grass fire, <laughs> one that didn't even really reach the car, create such damage, melting metal, shattering windows, and basically destroying the car? This is Star Wars level Like the stuff. Death Star, like, pointed Correct. its gun at us and... Correct. This is, this is, and this is, like, legitimate scientists <laughs> yeah. telling me, Eric, tell me if these photos and these images I'm seeing are real, because I don't think they can be, because it breaks science. Yeah, it's, it's like the... that's never been, it, that they don't understand. Yeah, definitely like the Death Star pointed its little gun at this thing. The conclusion they reach is that this is something new to their understanding of physics, possibly a directed energy weapon zapping the car from space as part of an evil plot by real estate developers driving folks out of Lahaina. <laughs> the answer is actually really simple. It's not a grass fire. It's a car fire. A wildfire doesn't burn things. It sets things on fire and then those things burn. There were very high winds and lots of flying embers and firebrands. Once Good ignited, point. a car burns perfectly fine by itself, especially in high winds. And this is just what the results look like. The seats, the tires, the plastic trim, the floor mats, any junk in the car, the motor oil and the gasoline, they all burn. Aluminum melts. And if there's enough heat and oxygen, aluminum burns, turning into aluminum oxide ash. Braided copper wire, like in the jumper cables, will melt and oxidize. Glass shatters from thermal expansion. The steel remains. The frame, the paneling, the engine, and the steel braiding in the tires. None of this is new. The directed energy weapon nonsense has been knocking around since the 9-11 conspiracy days over 10 years ago. Just like then, the way to debunk it is to note that the car itself is burning. <laughs> mm. It does not need to be set in the middle of a raging fire, or to be zapped by an energy beam from space. Cars burn by themselves, and there are lots of examples, both in wildfires and just in normal life. Just do a Google image search for burnt out car. In summary, it's a car fire, not a grass fire. Cars burn hot, they burn completely, and things melt. This is a low effort recycled myth. Don't give it any more oxygen. Mm. <laughs> so does he believe in anything? <clears throat> Uh, he debunks everything. Everything. Let's see. The next one, uh, critical thinking on UFOs, the problem with Starlink, jet engine glare. I don't know. Maybe he thinks that that's jet engine glares accounts for a lot of the UFOs that people see. Um, F-18 pilot Brian Burke discusses the Navy UFOs which is interesting. Does he debunk that? But that's two hours long. So he went deep. So yeah, he, he, he goes into all of it. We should get him on the show. Yeah, Maria, please call. Yes, Maria, please call Mr. Mick West, just so we can hear his nice tones. Yeah, he has a soft, soft ASMR voice. I might just put his stuff on autoplay when I go to sleep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. Do ASMR videos? Or just like, you know, Bob, this video is of a UFO and aliens. <laughs> I am now opening my beer inside a paper <laughs> bag so it's not too loud. <laughs> now, listen to me as I drink. Sip slowly. <laughs> All right, man. We thought we'd do a quick episode here. Uh, we've got John Stewart coming in 13 minutes. From Comedy Central. No, not from Comedy Central. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Unfortunately. Right. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, but, you know, we have the real Jon Stewart coming, not the fake one. The wrestler. The wrestler, the congressional candidate, the dude who knows why the alien interview video from the 1990s is real. I'm looking forward to it. 
So what's your conclusion on the uh, so-called jellyfish video? I don't know what the hell it is, but I want to see the video of it going into the water and recharging or whatever. Apparently, they don't have that. Why the hell not if they had it like that? I don't know. They wouldn't have stopped videoing it. Why would they only link that part? It doesn't make any sense. But it is what it is. How do they know it took 17 minutes and then they have it? Because they know when it came out of the damn water. Yeah, I would think so. And who the hell saw the scales? And how did they see them if you can only see it with infrared? Yeah, that's why in the beginning I said, fake! <laughs> <laughs> so you're right with the ASMR Oh, guy. wait, wait, Mick West. It is fake. Do not waste any more time. Yeah. Go about your <laughs> life as you will. <laughs> no, I can't come to any conclusions. It's odd. It's definitely odd. But he, so he claims that multiple countries were involved and they like shut down the release of the video, I think is what he's saying. So they have the damn video. Yeah. Well, I guess whatever this guy was recording on screen, that's what he has. He doesn't have the rest of it. Because his sources aren't real. But the thing is, though, if you're in the room recording that, and then I would imagine it's in a skiff. First of all, you can't take a phone into a skiff. But all because they're recording it, they'd be in a skiff to record other shit? Yeah, I mean, you know, where you're doing drone operations in a war zone, you don't just do that out in the open. It's all in a secure environment. So you're not supposed to take phones in. It's possible he had the phone in his pocket and he just didn't follow protocol. So what happens is they have these little phone lockers outside of the room and you're supposed to take your phone, stick it in a locker, take the key with you. And then when you leave the skiff, you unlock the locker, get your phone and go do your thing. Your phone's always in the locker. It's possible you could just stick the phone in your pocket, not stick it in the locker, walk in and then record that. However, there would be logs of who has access to the skiff. And it wouldn't be that difficult to narrow down, okay, there's these 5, 10, 60 people who have access to this room where that video is playing. Let's go interview them. Like, you'd be taking a huge risk. You know what I mean? Or they're dead. Possibly. Because there may have been two people in there. Yeah. One already died. That one's dead. <laughs> One who hit play. And the other one who recorded. And both of them were like, let's send this to Jeremy Corbell. We'll be famous. Yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he has awesome tattoos. <laughs> All right, man. Basement, hang out. Ow. Basement. All right.